you have a background of a hairstylist, right? Yes. Um, what is the difference working with uh, f uh, women's and, and guys and men's well, for you? Well, first of all, as nature speaks, um, the men have a beard, and I like doing beard. So that's one of the things that caught my attention because I really like the skin treatment, the shape of the face, and I think that definitely gives a, def a different um, sight and personality when somebody shows their face and their beard is fixed. So that caught a lot of my attention. In the beginning, um, oh, this is a secret story. I had a boyfriend who had a <laughs> beard I didn't like. Um, and it was because it was unshaped. It was not treated. And and I was like, if he's going to have it like that, I don't want, I, I just don't want him to have it. But then since that, since that, um, that started calling my attention and I started checking videos of beard and the shapes, the colors, the angles, because once you see a beard from up front is one thing, but once you see the person from a profile, that changes. So I'm like, it's a 360 view, what the beard offers to a man. And yeah, that Le caught my attention Lige a lot. used to hate my beard uh, when I used to let, let it grow when we met at first, at like first three months. And then once I shaved and she said, no, I prefer you with the beard. <laughs> it's the makeup of men's face, the beard. 100%. It completely changed their look. Yes. <laughs> now I like it. So as yes. a com cosmetologist, a hairstylist, you work with a lot of women. So how was that transition for you? Um, how was the... Uh, what made you only work with men's and leave the hairstyle behind all your clients, female clients? How was that transition for you? Well, it wasn't that difficult because everybody needs to be treated customer service wise and they also need a good image so i was doing that and i keep doing that with females or with males but the difference or the transition the biggest transition was the fact that i was not spending three or four hours on a client and now we spend 30 minutes to an hour in a full service of a guy and that gives you a vari variety of um, work environment because every day you see a lot more clients so before you used to spend the whole day with two three or maximum of four clients because you do color you have to wait for the process and all of that of course many stylists do several colors at a time and all that but i wanted to dedicate that to that special person who is my client who is basically the main character for me when it comes to the work environment and then it wasn't that difficult but i had to make a lot of changes um, and one of those changes was the chemical process because I also do coloring and coloring for females is completely different than color for men. And people may think that it's a lot easier, but no, it's a lot difficult because when it comes to the roots um, and you touch those roots, you need to take care of them more than when you do a color for a, for a girl who is not usually doing bleach on her roots or doing heavy processing on, on her roots. So that chemically changed a lot and I had to learn, learn throughout the time because even though I had experience with females, once I started doing the guys, it was a whole explosion. And uh, it is a very difficult thing, uh, thing because when you affect the skin and the scalp of the person, it, it becomes a liability if you don't know how to do it. Um, it burns, it, it hurts for most of them, but the result is beautiful at the end. So you need to go throughout the process with that. Since you're dedicating more time now with the barbering side of your life, so you're missing the other side, like working with female, more with fem with females? Yeah, yeah, I miss it, but I do, I sometimes <laughs> do my family and sometimes I do Ligi as her. So that kind of gives me the balance because it's not that I stop wanting to do female's hair is that I prefer to do other types. Um, and it's not because it's easier. It's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more detail. But what I mean is about doing girls' hair colored, uh, 
cuts and all of that is the length and the ability of me having a big canva to work with. So blow drying long hairs that I miss, incredibly I miss doing uh, big curls or doing bit, um, like big pieces of coloring throughout um, to have that canva, that I miss from, from females.